What's up you guys, welcome back to the garage. Um, today it's like 20 degrees, it's pretty chilly out. So I'm gonna try to rush through this. But today's more of a chill day. I gotta get some stuff cleaned up. I got like all that stuff that's laying over there. It's like a bunch of like wiring harness. And then a bunch of wires. Um, I got all this stuff just laying around on that side. And I got this table that's all crowded. A few tools right there and somewhat of a mess up there also so i think today what i want to do is just get this garage cleaned up get it more organized um also sheldon told me he sent me a text message that he's got something for me so i wonder what it is maybe we'll go back over to his garage and see what he's got um another thing that i'm debating on i want you guys to comment down below is my inner cooler it's actually bothering me i feel like like how it is i kind of want to flip it upside down and let me tell you guys why if i was to flip it upside down so instead of having this coupling right here this coupling would be up here somewhere and the same thing on this side so if i was to flip it upside down all i really gotta do is cut a hole down here and send a coupling this way and straight to the turbo which would be a really short distance because right now you guys can see it comes that way it swirls around swirls around the front and over here the same thing with with this side it swirls all around then it comes up and then it goes that way but if it was upside down it would just be a straight shot right through here i would drill i don't know how i would do it but i would do it I would drill a hole maybe down here somewhere where it would go straight to that intercooler. So that's something that's definitely, it's really been bothering me. Like I really want to do it. Really want to flip that guy upside down. And the holes, like everything, would line up perfect. Like all these holes, they're the same holes at the bottom. So everything would just pretty much line up in the same spots. The only thing is that it would be upside down. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if I should do that. I think it would be a shorter distance, but I'm debating on it. So, so I don't know what's going on behind me, but there's a bunch of people standing over there on the side of the road and they're being really loud for some reason. I don't know what's going on, but there's like five cars on the side of the road, right by the border over there as you enter Mexico. I'm not gonna let that distract me. If, uh, if they start fighting or arguing or something, I'll start recording in their direction. But either way, let's go ahead and start cleaning this garage. Cops just showed up. Things are getting a little bit interesting. I don't know if it was like a pile up or what was going on. Send me a text message to come over. <laughs> what is this? Uh, your white band sensor. Oh, nice. A white band. Yeah. Sensor. Yeah. He's hooked it up big time, dude. There's a different um, piece. You want that one. Damn. Is this from your build? Well, I was going to use that, but I just used the, um, the E, the um, Haltech can canvas white band. Oh, okay. It doesn't have a gauge, but 
It just goes straight to the computer. Damn, shout him out. He's hooked it up big time. He busy, dude. He really stay busy. <laughs> He's hooking up the, what is that? Is that the gun? Yeah, the timing light. Yeah, so he's hooking up the, the timing light to shoot the timing. So he's got the clamp over here. And then he threw the positive on top of the alternator that goes to the battery. And then he's got the negative, of course. adjusting his fuel pressure right now make sure you guys adjust it without having the fuel the, the vacuum line on there right now it's got the vacuum line on and you guys can see that the fuel pressure went down 36.6, 36.5 around there, back and forth.
He got his boost controller hooked up. And right now he's gonna go ahead and test it out, make sure it clicks. You guys can see it right here where it's plugged in to the bottom port. And it's coming this way to here. All right, you guys. So you guys seen that this video went from a cleaning video to something else video. <laughs> so the battery is about to die on the GoPro. And yeah, if anybody needs any tuning and you're local, you're around Aurora, the Chicagoland area, just go ahead and leave me a message down below and I'll contact the man himself right here. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> Adios. Barbell, barbell, barbell.